Hello, welcome to this new tutorial on Nuve, the new payment provider in Odoo. My name is Andrea Martinez, and I am a business system analyst team lead at Odoo. This is our agenda for today. We'll first talk about an introduction to the integration. Then we'll go over the scope of the integration, followed by the requirements that are needed to work with Nuve. Then I'll show you how it works via a demo. And finally, we'll go over any additional resources that you have available. All right, for the introduction. The context, what's the context behind this integration? With this new integration, you are able as Odoo Enterprise users to easily access a variety of local payment methods to process transactions quickly and securely. The benefit of this is that you are now compatible or have compatibility with new local payment pr uh, processors, and you're able to increase sales by offering more payment options to your end customers. Now, what's the scope? This integration is only available in the e-commerce modules for online payments, and in the sales app, it can be used to generate payment links. The integration with point of sale or recurring subscription payments is not supported. And this integration is available starting with Odoo 18. That's the scope. Now, within the countries that we've included, we have the United States and Canada, and the payment methods are the card, the card payment methods, such as American Express, MasterCard, Visa. And if you want to learn more, you can go to our user documentation, search for online payments, and then select Nuve. If you have operations in other countries, let's say in Latin America, then we also have other countries that are included in this integration. We have Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, Peru, and Uruguay. There is another smart tutorial on Nuve in Spanish that you can share with your colleagues if you'd like. Now, the requirements. In Odoo, again, the supported version is version 18 and beyond, so anything after that. You need ba basic master data for operating sales, such as products, taxes, currencies. You need the sales and e-commerce modules. And you need to ensure that the Nuve payment provider has been installed. Now, in Nuve, what do you need to do? You need to create a Nuve account using the referral link for Odoo. That's the referral link that I'm sharing on this screen. Then you need to configure production and sandbox environments, generate the credentials connection credentials. These include the merchant ID, the website ID, and the secret key. Now for the Odoo configuration. Once you've installed the Nuve payment provider, you want to select the correct environment. Are you in test mode or are you in production? I'm sharing a screenshot of a production environment, which means the state of the payment provider is set to enabled. After you've activated the necessary environment, then you follow the process by adding your merchant identifier, your site identifier, and your secret key. And then the last step in this first part is to ensure that you've published the payment provider to your website. Now, what's the next step? Once you've published your payment provider, you want to select or enable the specific payment methods that you'd want to use. To do that, you open the configuration tab then click enable payment methods that's the link in green and that will take you to an additional screen where you have the different options you can activate them just by toggling them on and off or toggling on and off now what is next you have countries and currencies so you can specify or select a specific payment method and assign it to a specific country and or a currency in this case i've left it blank so that means that all countries are supported. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo. So here I am in my Odoo database. And the first thing that I'm going to do is open the sales app, go to configuration, and then open payment providers. Here I have Nuve as my payment provider. And I am going to just open it so we can take a look at what that looks like. So I have the name. I'm in test mode, so I'm in a sandbox environment. I have here the three IDs that I need or the credentials that I've already generated. And this has already been published to my website. If I open the configuration tab here, I have three uh, payment methods that I've enabled. 
if I open enable payment methods, I'm taken to this additional screen. I'll open card and here I have um, my card, my payment method, and it's available for all countries and all currencies. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see how it actually works. So I'm going to open the website now. I'm going to the shop page and I'm going to open conference chair. I'm going to add this to uh, my cart. I need a new office chair. So I'll go ahead and proceed to checkout. Now I am going to tell do nope, I don't need a storage box. Thank you. I'll just proceed to the checkout process and I'll add a new address. So let's say I'll add my full name. I'll do Andrea Tinez. I'll do uh, an email here. I'll add a fictitious phone number. I'll add an address here. So let's do 248 Mission Street. I'll select this one right here. And I'll make sure that the right country is set. This will be very important moving forward because if I want to use Nive, I need to ensure that the country is set, right? In this case, as you may recall, I left the country blank. So that means it applies to all countries. I'll go ahead and save my address and then I'll go ahead and continue with my checkout process. And now I'll go ahead and select my payment method. I only have one that's Nuve by card. And here I have my card options. I'll go ahead and select it. Then click pay now. And for uh, at this point, I'll be taken to the Nuve portal. So I'll go ahead and add uh, my card holder name. I'll just do my name. And I'll type in a, a card. So I will just copy and paste the one that I have here. I'll add an expiration date. And I have the email. Perfect. I'll go ahead and place the order. and the payment has been successfully processed. Now, this is my reference, right? This is my sales order reference. I'll go back to the back end, open the sales app, take a look at that order. And here I have the confirmed sales order. And if I scroll down to the chatter, I'm able to see a note here. The payment related to the transaction with reference sales S00068 has been posted. Here I have the information on the sales order, or this was shared with the customer. And here I have another note where the transaction with the same sales order reference for $37.95 has been confirmed. All right. Now let's say I have a quotation. So let's take, go ahead and take a look at this quotation. So Ready Matt wants a virtual interior design service and then an office chair. So what I can do is then click Actions, select Generate a Payment Link. Then I specify the amount. This is a full amount, so this is perfect. I'll go ahead and copy. And then the next thing that I can do is open a guest profile. I'll add this payment link. And this is what the customer will see. All right. They will see the amount. That's $434, not $43. My bad. Uh, and then here the sales order reference. So I'll go ahead and then click pay. And I'll be taken to the Nuve portal where I can go ahead and repeat the process of adding the cardholder name, the cart number, the expiration date, CVV, and then the billing details, the email. All right. So that was the demo on Nuve. What are your available resources? Well, you have our user documentation where you can look for online payment providers and then select the new vague documentation and read more about it. You also have more e-learning courses. They're not specific to Nuve necessarily, but they just show you how Odoo works. 
You also have smart tutorial videos where we go a little bit more in depth or more into more advanced concepts. And then you also have the Odoo forum where you can ask questions and have the community answer your questions or even take a look and see if other Odoo users have posted their own solutions to other scenarios. And with that, we've completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy the new payment integrator.